We are back with Ted Thomas, the country's foremost authority on tax lien certificates and tax default investing. Thanks again, Ted, for taking the time. Uh, I have a lot of questions coming at me from my customers and members of this audience. So I'm going to start with the first question. And it comes from someone who's asking this. Is it really possible to get started in this business with just a few thousand dollars? Absolutely. You can start with a few thousand dollars. Um, I'll, I'll actually show you someone that bought a house uh, in just a second. Bought a house for under a thousand dollars. All right, but let's be practical. This is a business where people have gone to default. So uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to try to make a couple of hundred bucks? You want to make thousands. All right. I like to teach people how to make twenty five. $50,000 on one deal. Now I'm actually gonna show you a guy that bought a house for under $1,000. They'll put a picture up while I'm talking. His name is B.R. Baker, and the guy's in, in just outside of Atlanta, Georgia, and he's a newspaper editor, and he actually bought a house for 300 bucks. Now I've never done that, but I'm gonna tell you, if you wanna get in the game, you gotta get in the game. It's gonna be rare that something like that's gonna happen. He didn't believe it, he went to the auction, he didn't buy, because he didn't believe the price. So I had to send him back again till he did. But you can buy properties for as small um, as $5,000, $10,000, because the starting bid on defaulted properties is the back taxes. Now, do I know there's going to be 3,000 counties that can sell properties? That means some of the counties have more than one auction. There'll be 5,000 auctions this year, no less than that. Do I know what the bids are going to come? People just need to go to the auction and see. Some of these properties are going to sell for just hundreds of dollars but they're worth thousands. So here's what I will tell you. You'll always know what the value of the property is because the county will tell you that. You'll always know what the starting bid is. All right, so just don't bid it up too much and leave yourself plenty of margin. If you invest in tax lien certificates and you invest $2,000 and that particular county pays 20% interest, well, 20% on $2,000 is gonna be three or 400 bucks. So you figure it out. So I love tax lien certificates. They're predictable, they're certain and secure, but tax defaulted properties, look at, I started 30 years ago, the business was 200 years old then, I haven't looked back. I have bought colonial houses on five acres with 75 foot oak trees around. I have bought little houses that only have 2,000 square feet in them and I've sold them and made 50 and 75,000. I'll teach you, and that's what our business is, how to make 25 and 50,000 dollars. If you will follow the rules, which we will give you, and just do the step-by-step -step process, you'll be okay. Next question. Ted, I really understand these tax lien certificates, and it really seems like anyone can do it, but are there any complications uh, that I need to know about? Yeah, um, here's the trouble with tax lien certificates. Not to trouble, I shouldn't say that. Every state will have its own rules. So that means if you start moving around state to state to do that, you're going to have to learn the rules. Now, that's not difficult. So let me reach over here and I'll just get this happens to be a book from Los Angeles. OK, now in the book for Los Angeles, this is the auction list. OK, in the auction list, what they'll do in the back pages is they'll put the rules or they'll put them up in the front pages. They put the rules. So that means every auction is going to be different. Why is it going to be different? Because all 3000 plus counties are separate legal entities. So that means you have to learn. So if you decide you're going to buy in your county, you need to know the rules there. But you might go right to the very next county and the rules will be different. Now, let me give you an example. So I have clients in Maryland, state of Maryland, it's just a little state. But Maryland has, um, I think it's about 12 different counties there. So if, let's say I'm standing in Arundel County, all right, and I'm buying tax liens there. Well, the tax liens there are only paying 12%. But if I move right next door to the next county, they're paying 24%. That's what I'm saying. Each one of those counties are a separate legal entity and they can do what they want. Now, could another county charge only 8%? Yes. So the county will make the rules and they're their own separate entity. So there's nothing wrong with any of that. You just have to do more study. We'll show you how to do all that study online and how to access. I'll show you how to access every property in the United States before I finish. When I do my six hour class, I will show you in that class how to access, and nobody else in the world can do this. I will show you how to access all 100 million properties in the United States. I will show you how to access 100 million properties 
I can tell you the value. I can tell you how bedrooms and bath. I can tell you what the taxes are. I can tell you what the house next door is. I can tell you all that. A hundred million of them. Wow. Next question comes from a CPA who says or asks, Ted, I'm a CPA and an investor, and I think most of my clients want to be an investor, so they aren't going to do, want to do small deals. Is it possible they could make twenty-five dollars to $50,000 and do so part-time from online? Is that really a possibility? Okay, good. Uh, this is really a, a CPA that's really thinking ahead. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, I'm going to actually show you this woman in a second. Her name is Deborah. Okay, she's not even in the United States, but when I met her, I was making a presentation with her friends. Okay, I happened to be in a place called Kelowna, British Columbia, probably one of the prettiest places I've ever been. Crystal lakes around like Lake Tahoe, okay, mountains like, like you'd see all over Washington State, covered with snow, beautiful place to live. All right, she had been an investor with her husband for a number of years, but she didn't want to keep it doing it herself. She wanted someone to do it. So she hired investment advisors, she hired brokers, she hired, hired stockbrokers, she hired CPAs. Every year she hired Sony. Here's what her challenge was. She said, if you'll make 5%, you can always have my account and I'll pay you to make me 5%. Well, in 20 years, she hired 20 different people. She never did it. So when she heard my presentation, she said, I don't believe you. She said, can I do this online from my home? I said, yes. Well, she bought her first property, okay? And her CPA looked over her shoulder while she did it. She bought her first property. She was in British Columbia and online, she invested $25,000 on the ocean, on the Atlantic Ocean in Florida. And believe it or not, it was a mobile home, which was in a very exclusive mobile home park. And the mobile home was worth sixty dollars or $70,000. Now, all this woman wanted was a 5% return. So she then got on a plane after she bought it. She went there. When she got there, she opened the door. It was fully, fin fully furnished and immaculate. She went in, changed the sheets, and stayed there that night. But here's the fair part of the story that you want to know. She rented that mobile home, and she now makes, on her $25,000, she makes almost a 40% return every single year. So it's just up to you. We can show you how to do it. You can do it. My name's Deb Murphy, and I'm here in Kelowna, British Columbia. I had purchased my first property. I bought it for twenty-four thousand. It'll literally sell for it'll sell for seventy thousand. I'll probably list it around seventy-five, seventy-six, and it'll it'll sell. I did it all online by phone and by. Um, computer. Ted's material showed me that I can depend on uh, the county records, what's online as far as property appraisers records, what's online as far as all the documentation uh, around a property that I could depend on knowing 75% of what's going on with that property without even stepping foot on it. So there's just so much more available online, and that's why we can do it successfully now from Canada. Ted really fills out the full picture. He wants you to be successful. Wow. Uh, another question. Ted, the investment business is really filled with hype. I have clients that are grandmothers and grandfathers, working people, and they would love to make 50000 in one year. Is that realistic? Making 50000 is more than realistic. It's not unusual at all. Uh, I'll show you another investor that's a school teacher right now. And she and her son did this. Okay, so they learned how to do it. They happen to live uh, over in Alberta, of all places. They, they live in a place called Lethbridge. But they were, the closest big city that they wanted to buy was Seattle. So they went to Seattle. Now, those of you that know that there's three major counties there, Pierce County, Sohomish County, and so on. All right. So they went to King County, and in King County, they bought a property that was listed, and we helped them do the an analysis, was listed as a single family, single family residential lot. Now I tell all my clients, if you can find buildable residential lots, you wanna buy them, because the bidding is gonna stay down. Because most people are conceived in a house, they live in a house, so they're gonna buy houses. So what happens to prices on houses? Well, you know it's gonna go up. So we tell her, buy those residents. She bought this residential lot, but she worked with us and we said, look, 
It says single family residential lot. This is outlined as four lots, but they're selling one lot. So you're gonna get four for one at the auction. She went to the auction, the bidding wasn't furious, it was just steady. You'll see her, she's gonna tell you. Well, guess what? She bought that property for $37,000. Six months later, she sold it for $137,000. Uh -huh. And the guy got a great deal because he got four lots which he could build on. I'm Shannon Ulrich. A year ago today, we hadn't heard of Ted Thomas. With selling my first tax deed, I made two times my yearly salary in that six month period. We paid around $34,000 which was 27% of the assessed value, 120. And then six months later, we were able to sell it for $135,000, which was 3.7 times our investment. So taking action can be, can be frightening when you're stuck in a rut. I mean, unless you want to be a drone all your life. I have a friend who refers to people as, that go to work nine to five as drones. Yeah. One year after meeting Ted Thomas, I am a happier, wealthier person that I, I feel my alive and um, I feel my potential more than I did a year ago. This program has given me two more years of my life where I didn't have to be going to an office. So it was no biggie to quit my job. Now I get to be a grandma and every day is a Saturday. Amazing. This next question comes from Yours truly, it is this. I've noticed in looking and doing my own research on properties that I want to bid on, that the assessed values are generally conservative. They're generally less than what I'm seeing on Zillow or realtor.com, or when I'm having a realtor give me comparables. You know, their numbers, both from Zillow, realtor, and the, and the actual real estate agents are typically, they're coming back with a higher value on the properties that I'm having them research or that I've done the research on than the actual tax to assess value. Can you explain that? Yes, I think so. Um, uh, just, you want to remember what you just said when the market goes bad. <laughs> all right. So when the tide comes in, all the boats are, are, are on their way up, right? Okay. The county treasurer and assessor only have a few people. And so what they're basing their values on is they're checking every property that's being sold right now, and then they'll slowly catch up. So in a rising market, what's going to happen is the actual values of the property are considerably higher. Could be as much as 30 and 40 percent. Now, uh, I, I'm not a forecaster, and I'm not an economist, and I'm not an attorney. But the Seattle market over the past four years, not according to me, but according to the attorneys, because I buy residential lots there, they have gone up at least 25% a year. Now, this is an impossible rate of return. It's an absolutely impossible rate of return, 25% a year. And even though it's gone up that much, they, the treasurer still has not caught up with what the market pricing is. Now, that's all going to reverse. When the market goes bad, I'll tell you right now, it's not like the stock market. It won't go like that, but it'll start ratcheting down. So you'll see it start ratcheting in the next year. Why? Because as soon as you see the interest rate change, you're at the, you're at the bottom rates now. When it goes to three and a half and four, then it'll go to five, then suddenly it'll go to eight or 10. When those interest rates go up, the real estate market just shuts down. When it does, it starts ratcheting down. Problem is, the county's still way up here. <laughs> now they've got to ratchet down with you. All right, so, got it. so, so the tax assessed value is a good, a good estimate, but what you really want is kind of right on your paper, CMA, Comparable Market market Analysis. That's what you want. So you want to do that. All right, now here's the key to making money in the business. The properties are going to be sold at the back taxes are very close. So if you know anything about this market, anything, up or down, and you got margin, you're in business. Now that's about as simple as I can say. If you can buy it low, then sell it low and make money, you're in business. Thank you, Ted. Your answer triggered one other uh, question for me. Maybe not so much a question, but uh, a thought that you triggered. Rates are 
probably going to be heading upwards. They've been low for so long. And property values are probably going to correct. You know, in my state, California, they've just been <laughs> going crazy up, 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 just amazingly. Um, so that's going to start, you know, they're going to start coming down with the, as rates go up. Like you said, the market's going to start to dip. Wouldn't that make our business even that much better to buy while uh, buy on the dip? Because now <laughs> we're still buying very low. Uh, and if we're buying very low on a market that's correcting low, it will go back up. So if we if we buy and hold, I know that the, the, the business model really is to buy, buy low and sell low. But if somebody did want to buy low, hold it, rent it, or just hold on to it for a while, when the market goes back up, don't they stand to make even a greater profit? Yeah, I mean, got an oversimplification. You want to buy it low, you want to sell it low, although the market's up here, you want to sell it below the market so you can sell quickly. But it's, this is margin here. This is total profit here if you want it. I go for margin, but the margin stays the same. Smart. Just There's a reason you're the top guy in the world about this. <laughs> right, here's, what I'm after. here's what I'm after. I, I don't get greedy. I just say to people, look, Let's try to make 25 grand on this property. You say, but Ted, I'm leaving money on the table. Leave it on the table. Get it sold and do another one. Okay, you can do this. Watch my hands. The margin's going to stay all the way up with the market. I can go all the way down. I know what I want to make. 25 or 30, 50 grand on a deal. Now, if I get a big one like she did, she got four lots. Was Treasure was selling one. She got four for one. She came out with $100,000. If she had just bought one, she would. Her first offer was sixty-five thousand. On her thirty-seven, she was already damn close to doubling, and she just didn't take the offer. She just waited, and all of a sudden, she ended up with one hundred and thirty-seven. You'll hear it all in that video. The people have probably just watched it. So just keep your your margin the same. You don't care what happens to the market. I've been doing the same. I have not changed anything I've told you today in the past twenty-five years. It's the exact same thing I do in my sleep. Yeah, well, why change something that works? <laughs> Can you explain, okay. uh, tell everybody about your next virtual workshop? Next one is coming up on the 26th of uh, the month of February. So I look forward to having you guys there. Now, this is really a workshop and it's going to be pretty darn intense. Now, I don't actually do questions during the workshop, but I'll have two people on there that you can just type in your questions and they'll answer them. I mean, we have thought about this and done a lot of these. So you can come to the workshop. You can ask questions if you want. It's going to go fast. If you don't bring a notepad, you'll wish you had, because I'm going to tell you, this is really filled with content. My name is Ted Thomas. I'm glad to be here. We do this uh, as often as we can, but we're looking forward to seeing you on the 26th of February. We'll start 11 in the morning. We'll finish about 5.30 at night. It'll be continuous. And it'll be intensive, and we'll look forward to having you there. Ted, thank you so much. I know I appreciate all this information, and I know our audience does too. Folks, click the link on this page to be able to access and register for the next Ted Thomas Virtual Workshop. This is one event you simply can't afford to miss. Thank you, Ted, and God bless.